Good morning, everybody. It's actually Christmas morning. We just got done opening gifts. And while everyone is getting ready to go over to the family, I thought I would show you what we're doing with the split sump. It's just about done. It's scheduled to get installed on Monday. And it is basically all plumbed up, ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is just take a hose, put it where that gate valve is, and allow it to Slowly fill with water, just make sure I don't have any leaks. It's also going to kind of clean out the system from any debris that's in there. And I will videotape as the water is going through. But then I've got a small pump that's going to work as my return pump to stick it back through. We're going to cycle water through this thing for about a day. And we're going to use the heater to keep the water nice and warm to help the stuff move along. But as the water is going through, I'll describe each stage. Now I gotta get the water ready. All right, so here we have the water going in. It's going through the first chamber just like it's supposed to. And it's about ready to go over into the filter sock area. Beautiful. So now the filter socks are filling. And we will come over here. And you can see the water is starting to fill the skimmer section. Looks like this might take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause it and be back with you as we start to move into the next section. All right, the water has just started going out of the uh, protein skimmer chamber and is now starting to fill our next chamber, which is going to be full of biomedia and my probes. You can see the two probe holders there. I put a lot of extra probe holders in just because I'm not sure what I'm going to end up running and I needed five just for what I have now. So you can see it's going through these pipes into the next section. This next section is going to be where I'm going to have my miracle mud. You can see I have two trays here. One happens to be floating. One is sunk. We'll get this one to sink real quick. There we go. These will eventually be filled with Miracle Mud. The reason I have two trays is you're supposed to recycle through that Miracle Mud. That, those trays make it really easy. You can see I've got an MP40 right there. I had to go with the MP40 because I didn't, wasn't getting a great bond with the MP10s. But I'm gonna have a low circulation in this sump area in addition to the water that's going through because as you can see, there's not a ton of flow in that refugium. It's so large, and I'd like to get a little bit more. But we're getting close now to going through the last section. So as we approach that, it will go through this area, which I may put a piece of foam in that gap. I may not. I'm just not sure yet. Just depends on how many bubbles I'm getting in. And then this is going to be the return section. Right now I've just got a little cheap pump that's going to cycle the water for the next couple days back over. Obviously that's not going to be the one that's going to be forever. I've created these dosing ports right here to dose pretty much anything I would ever want to dose. And they enter this nice high flow return area. And then in here I have one hole here in the back that I've just got closed off. That's in case I ever want to use it for anything. Figured it was better to put it in now than not. You can see I'm going to have my auto top off probes right there for my Toonzy. And then the water will come 
through there and out. That blue tape is where my pump area, that's the last bit of area in my stand. And that's going to be where, where my return pump goes. And right now I've got a blue line, but I'm jonesing very, very hard for one of those e Ecotech return pumps. So we'll see if Santa's going to bring me anything. But there you go. We are just about wrapped up. The next video you will see will be of the installation. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for watching. And again, if you can think of anything you would do differently, anything you would add, it's never too late to tinker with your tanks. You guys all know that. I look forward to hearing from you. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you just in a couple days with the install.